PSD in the blue on your right. PSU in the red on the left. Both robots have made it. Oh, PSU's uh, standard struggling. Standard He's got one wheel over. still on the back. And there we go. Out now. UCSD's uh, robots both moving very slow. Uh, good for their power limiting. So PSU doing a good job of firing projectiles, firing a little bit low here, mm -hmm. um, and having some probably uh, a little bit of an overpower issue. It seems like overpower with Resident issues. Three. Yep. Right, but PSU is taking a small lead now, doing damage to their uh, UCSD Sentry, so, you know, not too bad. Red Standard for trading with a bot, hiding just underneath our camera limit here. As the, I believe that's Blue that's Standard the, uh, 3 and Blue Hero 1 yep. make a push forward Red for Standard UCSD. Red still taking damage from that overpower, moving back over to where the Sentry for PSU just got hit and was disconnected, it looks like, from the system. That means it is going to slowly tick down in health, giving UCSD a strong lead here. Give it about 30 seconds, and that base of PSU will be exposed. UCSD, if their hero is able to launch projectiles, that'll be their moment to strike. And we did see that that was the hero projectile that hit the sentry to knock it out in the first place offline. And so the hero is definitely uh, in top shape from UCSD. Something that might be confusing to the people at home, you're looking at, uh, you're watching from the driver point of view, and, and just like the drivers, you're aiming the middle of the circle at your target. Yeah. That circle is just in the center of the screen. Yep. If you have your camera on top of your barrel, as most teams do, you typically need to aim a little higher than that to actually have pretty good accuracy. Absolutely. All right, and now we're seeing that uh, UCSD is now hitting the base for PSU, doing damage to it with their standard here. There it is. They've figured it out. UCSD dealing over 120 damage to Having PSU's to back off base. As well, uh, getting chased out by a PSU standard combination. The, the hero, hero one is stuck on a wall and just taking some damage here. Maybe they'll be able to knock it out. Chased low down health. and taken out from Penn State. Overpowers itself. All right. Both teams are now kind of regrouping, getting themselves back together, buying projectiles. Uh, for a net for another push, uh, we see UCSD pushes first and gets to the base again with their standard three. He's dialing it in. He's trying to find that good spot, but McNitney coming back, getting some kills here. Excellent job, Red Standard Four, Blue Standard Three, trading blows back and forth. Equal it's levels as well. Really close in health, close in levels. About two segments of health remaining for each bot as they both decide that mutual destruction is not the path they'd like to take and retreat back to their bases. To refuel and to get some more uh, ammo as well. PSU's Resident 3 only has two projectiles allowed left, so kind of has to wait for some more economy to come in, and we just see it as, as I said that, it just came in. UCSD is still going for that base. PSU hasn't really made a play for the UCSD Sentry yet, and so is unable to really capitalize. It's still losing overall, despite taking the engagements with the standard and looking pretty definitively better overall on the uh, infantry and uh, hero side. PSU now... Chipping through the sentry health of UCSD with a minute and 30 seconds left to go. This is not an insurmountable lead. Absolutely. They need to finish off the sentry and then deal a pretty significant amount of damage. But it appears that the flywheel motors of, uh, I think that was UCSD, having some troubles. Yep. We're back feet. online, it looks like, though, from UCSD, doing more damage to that base. They're trying to grab as much of a lead as possible because PSU can still come back at this point. PSU's robot coming into, as we mentioned earlier, you know, doing some uh, blocking with their head, trying to get it so that UCSD cannot shoot at the base. Uh, not quite tall enough, though, in this situation. The 1,000 HP left. PSU desperate to stop the onslaught. They're able to take the sentry out, the and now base PSU base racing. Red Standard 3 body blocking while Red Standard 4 chips away at the health. A 300 HP game. That means they're going to need to land 60 projectiles from a standard. Separate the two. Red Standard 4 is purchasing all those projectiles. UTSD is also base racing back. 400 projectiles close. in each one. They're going to have a base race. It's going to be an accuracy competition. 320 health, the difference between the two of them. 30 seconds left to go. Red Standard 3 here trying to body block. PSU steps up, gets a little closer. If this body blocking is a bit more effective, they might be able to catch up. Only 200 damage now between the two. They're catching up. 13 seconds left to play. 70 damage. damage between the two. It's now both of the 900s. It's 65 so damage between the two teams. Three, two, two 
No one. one's firing, and it's game UCSD going the way of UCSD. 75 base health? Theodore, you are allowed to graduate. Your team has won a round. What a close competition right at the end there. It makes you really wonder into the match. Three, two, one, and we're off. Both of UCSD's uh -oh. robots have cleared the bump and are now slowly... Oh, the hero moving very quickly, but the uh, now slowly moving out. PSU also has both cleared the bump and have purchased projectiles for Standard 4. Looks like they are going to purchase some for Standard 3 as well, indicating that whatever issue they had previously, probably just a barrel jam or something. And here we go. Standard 4 is firing again. Still aiming just a little bit low there. Standard 3 having a little bit of uh, overpowering issues, it seems like, uh, trying to move forward. If you have those overpower issues, but you're able to get out of base, um, staying in that resupply zone has been a successful strategy that yes, we've seen yes. implemented. It'll heal you of any incidental damage uh, that you incur while you're in combat. Yep. As well, it'll let you continuously buy projectiles. And you gain that passive XP over time. That's so you will right. level up to a point where you can move like the full field. Yep. You can see the, the wattage limit in the bottom left-hand corner of their screen initially very, very low as Red mm. Standard 3 is taken out of the game by that wattage limit. Yep. Looks like Resident Evil also hasn't fired yet at all, which seems like they may still have some jamming issues there. But uh, PSU is in the lead slightly on the sentry, with the USD, UCSD now coming up to try and do some more damage to it. We tied it up. UCSD and McNitney from PSU. UCSD's hero trying to do body blocks for the sentry, it looks like. Uh, I'm guessing still not able to fire after that last match. 20 HP left on the hero for UCSD. Very, very close to death. Uh, PSU you, taking out uh, UCSD Sentry at 270 health now, 250, and counting down. PSU pushing UCSD to the limit here. Doing a good job in round two, seeing if they can bring this one back to one to one. I like how PSU is being more aggressive this round. They're like, okay, you know what? Let's just go for the Sentry. The hero's not hitting us. Uh, we're not really having to deal with the standard either. We can duel it if we need to together, and it'll back off. Let's just go for their Sentry. Let's do our best there. Yeah, I agree. Um, plus PSU, I, I think both of their standards operational this match. Yep. Red Standard 3 has been launching a few projectiles. Hero Blue 1 getting taken out by PSU. Uh, both sentries falling relatively low. Triton Robotics okay. down probably out. 30, 20, 10. There it is. There it a double is. kill coming across from Red Standard 4 as Taking he moves on no to that base time. objective going to be a solid base lead for the side of PSU, uh, but UCSD not far behind. By the end of this sentence, they will be far behind. They are absolutely melting as PSU. Yeah, Four still has like 30 shots left to do 600 damage to this base. Runs out right at the end there. Goes over to go grab some more. 450 uh, damage done to the base from that standard. Really impressive. They've got no gold, but it'll tick over here in five seconds at the two minute mark. That gold will come across, allowing PSU to once again engage. But for right now, they've just got to sit and take it. Uh, UCSD returning fire. Not able to land a whole bunch of sentry shots yet. Um, a blue PSU hero is still extremely low. I'm not sure if he's able to move. Um, at 5 HP, he probably should get out of dodge. Yeah, it seems like you're almost blocking the other standard now. You know, they can't get a better line of attack. PSU continuing to annihilate the base of UCSD. Firing a little bit low there, not landing every shot, but getting a decent amount of them. Exactly. You can see these UV charged projectiles give their driver a little bit more information about where that projectile is actually going. It's no longer a requirement of the game, uh, but it definitely helps the drivers out. It's really difficult to track these projectiles if they don't have that UV glow. Absolutely. PSU backing off when UCSD standard comes in to just say, hey, don't kill my base yet, please. Uh, UCSD now running back to grab more projectiles and heal up after that in confrontation. One minute and two seconds. PSU pushing the base again, continuing to drill down that armor panel, looking a little worse for wear. The sticker getting annihilated. The base health falling UCSD. Uh, probably going 1-1 one, one here. 45 seconds left. They would need to deal a significant amount of base damage after finishing a sentry yeah. and without a hero online. Like, the hero's there. Yeah, but it's not It's firing. got 20 projectiles. They've got a lot of hope. There's 19. 
It did fire once. It, it hit. It hit on the sentry down to 40 HP. If it can land one more. Oh, that one counts. And it takes out the sentry. The hero is the only bot that will be able to make up the difference in these base health. 1,500. But it's taken it's out. Taken and out 18 seconds oh, left same. to go. It would have to go back to base before it can launch those projectiles. 12, 10 seconds left. UCSD made that final push. Their standard will now try and make the hero play. Well, but it's seconds. a hero's job. And he will not be able to bring it back. At and so PSU will take round two. What an exciting match between these two teams. Went really even there in that first round. And then the second round, you know, P